We're going to look at how to do makeup in Photoshop. It's a really powerful program and there's tons that you can do as far as en enhancing uh, an overall image. Uh, in general you want to make the adjustments really slight because um, you'll see by preserving your original image with your layers palette um, the before and afters can be quite extreme. So you want, the goal is to make it as realistic looking as possible. So with our image open here I'm going to do just that, um, back up the original image that we have so we don't accidentally lose this image just by going to that tiny arrow there in the layers palette and choosing duplicate layer, we'll just call it copy and that's okay, we'll just uh, leave that as a backup down there. So this, this uh, backup copy is what we're going to be working on. So first things first, um, actually want to make another new layer using that small arrow. Choose new layer. And this one I'm just going to call eyeshadow. And here under blending mode um, we're going to choose color to start. And we'll leave the opacity at 100 for now. I'll just hit OK. And by the way, you'll notice that that color that I picked out is here. Um, anytime you switch layers, your, your blending mode is assigned. And you can change that at any time, should you need to. Also, the opacity is there, so if we need to change that, we can change that too. So, we got um, eyeshadow layer selected, and we want to get closer um, to the eye. So, we're going to use the magnification tool, the zoom tool, and just get um, closer to the eyes here and switch to your brush tool. You can hit B on the keyboard as a shortcut. Um, next you want to adjust your brush size accordingly. Uh, clearly this brush is too big so we can change that just by changing that right there and something relatively that size ought to do depends on how big your canvas is really. So we're happy with that. Let's click that again to get rid of it and I'm also going to change the opacity just like I mentioned we want to make this really subtle. I'm going to change it to 35 percent for now and just go over the eyelid parts and see how that looks. That's really supposed to be subtle, but realistic looking too. At points, you're going to want to switch to the eraser tool. And I'm using the brackets on the keyboard um, below the 9 and 0 on the keyboard um, to adjust the brush, brush size. That works for all brushes. So with the eraser tool, I'm going to actually pull back a little bit of some of that color I added so that it looks a bit more realistic. So we've got that. Um, we can add in, switch to brush, add a little bit more. And we've got the beginnings of uh, some makeup. We probably want to add another layer here because this one is going to blend differently in that it's going to be set to multiply. And you'll notice when I draw with multiply set on it really adds um, some depth to it, but it is a bit extreme so I'm going to turn that down to 15 and then go over that again. So the goal is to add some depth and realism to the existing stuff that we've already done. Um, now if that's too much we can always change the opacity of the layer. Switch to the layer, change opacity, and if we've done this right, when we zoom back out, the result should be fairly realistic. And that's how to do eyeshadow. And, uh, use a similar effect for other areas in the face.